Hi, and welcome back to another um, Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Today we're going to be working with preset shapes. Um, this, you will know, is the Essentials Toolbox. Remember to switch it to Essentials Classic. You will have many more options. Okay, so um, this is the default shape. If you click on the um, white arrow at the bottom right of the icon, you can create different shapes. If you select a shape type and you just click on the artboard, you will get um, the option to set your um, shape. Set your shape parameters okay so i've changed the number of sides in my polygon um, i believe it was eight i'm now going to change it to five and i drag and draw and there we go we have a polygon okay uh, what we are going to do now is fill our polygon and here's a really cool thing that you can do with your swatches if you select swatch kind, you can select any number of different um, patterns, okay? So I'm going to select some decorative patterns. Um, this is a lovely little basket weave, and there we go. One of the... Um, one of the tasks that you are set in your um, work is to warp and that is here it's uh, this is its default okay this is the width tool i'm going to click on the little arrow and there's the warp tool but there's some really interesting ones you'll notice that i have a circle and let's see what happens when i apply that okay um, I am going to go back and I am going to select this polygon. I am going to, of course, um, now choose a gradient. Okay, uh, these are presets. Let's go yellow, orange. There we go. Um, you will have some options here. Uh, if you choose to take um, a look at the tutorial, that's fine. Um, remember your gradients. You can click on the larger circle and change its color. Okay, you can also change where the gradient changes. Okay, so there is my location. If I want it at 30%, I just type in 30%. If I want a radial gradient, I just switch there. Here is another gradient tool which will show up on the shape itself and you can move the center of the gradient. You can again change where the colors um, blend out. You can change the colors themselves. Okay and once you've done that I'm just going to go back to my select tool. I am going to go to Effect, and I am going to go to the Effect Gallery. And if I just click on Effect Gallery and wait a minute while it works itself up, um, you'll notice that I have selected the Texture um, File Folder. I have selected Mosaic Tiles. I can change the size of the tile. I can change the size of the grout and I can either lighten or darken the grout um, as I need. If I don't like it, I simply click cancel. If I am happy with what I've done, I'll click OK. Okay, back to our shape menus. Here we have a star tool. And I'm just going to put that in the side. Again, if I just click on the work surface and I want 12 points on my star, 
there we go it will fill with the last fill if i want to increase or decrease the size proportionally i hold down the shift key and grab one of the corner handles um, so here we go to swatches let's look at libraries there we have patterns nature let's look at foliage and i am going to select this first one so this actually gives me a pattern inside the shape okay i'm going to click off it select it again and i'm going to go to effects here's 3d let's revolve it just for fun i can decide exactly how i want it to rotate if i don't like these angles of course i can change it um, i'm going to type in 270 i can even add a bit of an oops a bit of an offset i'm just going to click ok this will take a little while to happen so just be patient and let it do its thing. And you'll see um, it needs to do a lot of processing. It's generating the geometry right now. So we're going to wait while it does that. Render. And while it's doing that, your minimum requirements for this um, exercise are 10 shapes with 10 different fills, five different borders, five layered effects, three different border weights, three overlapping shapes or three shapes that overlap, at least one warping effect and one 3D effect. Um, unfortunately, I'm running out of time here, so we won't see it rendered, but that is a quick overview of working with preset shapes.